Okay, peeps, welcome back. Now, I think we'll just go and see you. Um, Dandelion, see what he's got to say for himself. So I'm not feeling those two quests. I have a feeling one cancels the other out. Or partially, anyway. And I have a nasty feeling if you do one, she's going to be dead by the time you get around to having him assassinated. Unless there's an option to get her out of there. Another way. Portal, perhaps? She cast no spells o on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. Hey, she's been there. Ooh. <laughs> she just stayed there for it. No, there's another question here. Oh boy. Hey, I can't control what I inherit. You can control what you do, madam. I know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. Uh, what is going on down the line? What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekama jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? A dancer hanging from a chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. <laughs> How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We oh, can boy. borrow the coin from her. The name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Well, right. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. He's gonna fall on the sword for her. Fine, but... I'm cool Carol, with that now. The only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Yep. Oh, man, you're the biggest last time. Oh, he never given me nothing but the stuff he did What's he schemed up this time? The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. 
Am I being clear? Chief, eh? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to it, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. They're a problem. Already. They're a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. <laughs> oh. Just wanted you to meet my new pals before the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without the shovel. Friends of yours? Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Ah. Oh. Yeah, right, so... All living. Take the one job after another right now. Fun. Alright, let's go see if we can get a rusty My, sword or a dull freak. sword or whatever it is. Oh, he's not in. Good. So, there you go. So good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. Oh my. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Alright. Let's see what Dandelion's got planned. Jeez. What plans this, uh, 
blunt soul. I hate to think. I really do. I still stand by what I said. He's going to try and fool on it. He's going to injure himself. It rains. Idiot. It pours. Uh, I'm not going to try and talk about it because I don't think I'd win. made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Oh, boy. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. That's your plan, really? Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. No, it's not. <laughs> written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Oh, boy. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, we don't. <laughs> More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, Vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, Murder! Someone help me, please! You're better than I thought. <laughs> Am I meant to win or lose? Crimson Avenger! Help me! Oh, okay. That was it. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit! Or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! <laughs> uh, well, if Dandelion is you, he knows his ex-girlfriend's pretty well. A little too well. Oh! This one's raining, the guards have just stood there like idiots. Really? Must like the rain, that one. No, I just don't give a damn about it. Rain's raining, only rain. water coming from the sky. No loitering round here! Makes me laugh when people who work with Finn have got massive coats on that. It's only grizzly, I'm like, oh. Alright, meditate until the morning. <sighs> There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. 
So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theatre decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gerald, you've known him long. Say something. stage artists, and cabarets a form of theatre. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. <sighs> well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action and so quickly who knows might even settle down now you'll have to keep an eye on the business who would have known despite what people say about him dandelion approaches life very rationally <laughs> since when we talking about the same dandelion man who loses a fortune worth half of novigrad in one night dandelion can also be responsible he always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, okay. I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Uh. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Oh, here we go. She's Dandelion again. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh. Hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? Good question. No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. You know, How would you know she keeps a rascal. spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. No, she's worried about you. She never worried about me. Fine. Let's find the key. 
<sighs> oh, really? It's under a rock. Find anything? Yep. Yeah. Under a rock. Not here. Oh, okay. In the bucket. Uh, the key. Let go. Get your butt up. Surprise! This time I don't have a spare key number still. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the... She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. <sighs> My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of yous. Polly's not going anywhere. Let Danny let him finish. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there, is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer. And that, in turn, means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Oh. suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled, then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. I saw him out. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was buddy in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. Okay. I'll go see Rodlick. You head back to the Rosemary. Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No. Said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. That's really helpful. See the portside. There's a big ass port. Come on. That's a big ass port to search, Dandelion. You couldn't have been a little bit more specific. Oh, this Gowalt knows where he's going. I hope. I don't. <laughs> I'm not for the poop. Ding ding dong dong. Oh, that's bad. Yep. 
Oh great, there's bandits in here. That's not fun. <sighs> what are you? Oh no. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halfling's in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine before the carcass is picked clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. Okay, I got a big sword. Okay, can't let still You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Come on, come closer. You That's enough of that. Yeah. Oh, you got me. Let me guess, you are dead. Oh no. I don't know how much Rotlick owes you, but everything in this house is mine. Want to get something back? Try the Vagal Bud estate. Rotlick's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of here. <sighs> Okay. At least we know where he is. We know we've got our backside kicked. Right. And we will leave it there, peeps. So, I shall catch you all in the next one. Have a good day.